जय राध माधा कुंज बिहारी जय राध माधा कुंज बिहारी जय गोपी जन बल्लाबा गिरी वरदारी जय गोपी जन बल्लाबा गिरी वरदारी सोदनंदना ब्रज जन रंजना ये सोदनंदना ब्रज जन रंजना यमुना तीरा वन चारी यमुना तीरा वन चारी जरा दमा दावा कुंजा बिहारी जरा दमा दावा कुंजा बिहारी जय गोपी जन बल्लाबा गिरी वरदारी जय गोपी जन बल्लाबा गिरी वरदारी सोदनंदना ब्रज जन रंजना सोदनंदना ब्रज जन रंजना यमुन तीरा वन चारी यमुन तीरा वन चारी जरा दमा दावा कुंजा बिहारी जय गोपी जन बल्लाबा गिरी वरदारी सोदनंदना ब्रज जन रंजना यमुन तीरा वन चारी जरा दमा दाबा कुंजा बिहारी हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जय राधा जम सुंदरा धा जम सुंदरा दे जय राधा जम सुंदरा धा जम सुंदरा दे जय जगन्नाथा जय जगन्नाथा जय बलादिवा जय सुभाद्रा जय गौरनिता जय गौरानिता जय गौरानिता जय गौरनिता निताय गौरारी बो हरि बो हरि बो निताय गौरारी बो जय प्रभु पदा जय प्रभु पदा जय प्रभु पदा जय प्रभु पदा निताय गो प्रमाण दे हरि बो एवं विश्वा परमंत प्रराज का चार स्त्रोत्र श्रीमदेत वेदांत संस्कृत की जाए एवं विश्वास ब्रह्मंत प्रभुराज का जरा स्त्रोत्र ठाकुर को संपाद की जाए आनंद को की जाए नमाज रविदास ठाकुर की जाए प्रेम से गो श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री उद्वैद कदाधार श्रीवास आदि गौर भक्त बंद की जाए राधा कृष्ण गोप गोपीनाथ श्याम कुंड राधा कुंड गिर गोवर्धन की जाए ब्रजभुवन श्री वन धाम धाम की जाए नवद्वी मायापुर धाम की जाए श्री क्षेत्र जगन्नाथपुरी धाम की जाए गंगा मई यमुना मई की जाए भक्ति देवी तुलसी महारानी की जाए 
समवेत भक्त वृंद की जाए हरि नाम संकीर्तन की जाए नेता गो प्रभु आनंद दे हरि हरि बोल आलो रेस तो से मुड़ी उठ हरे कृष्ण आलो रेस तो से मुड़ी उठ आलो रेस तो से मुड़ी उठ हरे कृष्ण आलो रेस आलो रेस आलो रेस आलो रेस गुरु वन दो रंग ला उस को बल जाए नमः विष्णु बधाए कृष्ण विष्टाय बुत्रे श्रीमते भक्त वेदांत स्वामी निद्राम नमस्ते सारा सुध देवे गौरवाणी प्रचार निर्वाचार the mahatma gita mahatmya part of it and then we'll try to understand the main purpose of bhagavad gita why we need to study and how we need to study so, so those aspects today introduction okay bhagavad gita i think in the introduction last pages of introduction you will see gita mahatmya so that uh, that is the first thing we are going to read from after our mangalacharan prayers ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चेव नरोत्तम सरस्वती व्यास तथो जयमदीर नष्ट प्रयेशु भद्रेशु निगवत सीभय भगवती उतम श्लोक भक्ति नैष्टिक सो गीता महात्म फर्स्ट देन try to understand the purpose of gita and the vedas everything yeah they should be finished yeah. they're not done everybody found gita mahatmya last pages of introduction ah uh, before first chapter begins at the at the last of introduction we'll see Seven verses or so. Found it? Got it? Gita Mahatmya two, three, four, like that. It will be written with some paragraphs. Found it? Huh? Verses will be there. Huh? Huh? Yeah, at the end of almost. You found it or no? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Gita Shastra Vedam Punyam Ya Pratet Priyata Puman Vishnu Padam Vapnoti Bhaya Soka Divajita. गीताध्यानशील से प्राणायाम पर नैव शांति पापा पूर्वजन्मता मल निर्मोचन पुंसा जलस्ना दिने दिने सक्रोदीता संसार मलनाशन गीता सुगीता कर्तव्या किय शास्त्र विस्तर या स्वयं पद्मनाभस्या मुखा पद्मा विनेश्रुता भारतामृत सर्वस्वा विष्णु भक्ता विनेश्रुत गीता गंगोदक पुनः जन्म वेद्य गावो दोग्दा गोपाल नंदना पार्धो वत्सा सुधीर्भोक्ता दुग्धम गीतामृत महत्क शास्त्र देवकी पुत्र गीत एको देवो देवकी पुत्र 
एको मंत्रस्तस्य नामानि यानि कर्मा भी कम तस्यदेवस्य सेवा translations of this Gita Mahatmya, very wonderful verses describing the glory of the Srimad Bhagavad Gita, which is directly spoken by Supreme Lord Sri Krishna. You found it or no? Yeah. First one, verse number will not be there, but it is just text in the above, uh, text two, it's uh, above, just text within that verse is there, Prabhupada writes. One who with regulated mind resides with devotion the Bhagavad Gita scripture, which is the bestower of all virtue, will attain to a holy abode such as Vaikuntha, the residence of Lord Vishnu, which is always free from the mundane qualities based on fear and lamentation. Vasna, true of Gita Mahatmya. If one reads Bhagavad Gita very sincerely, with all seriousness, then by the grace of the Lord, the reactions of his past misdeeds will not act upon him. Lord says very loudly the same thing in Bhagavad Gita and 18.60 Sarva Dharman Parityadya Maam Ekam Saranam Raja Aham Tvam Sarva Papibhyo Mapsha Isyami Masuja Abandon all varieties of religion and surrender unto me. I shall deliver you from all sinful reactions. Do not fear. So the Lord takes all responsibility for one who surrenders unto him and he identifies, indemnifies such a person against all reactions of sins. Verse number three. One may cleanse himself daily, taking a bath in water, but if one takes a bath even once in the sacred Ganga water of Bhagavad Gita, for him the dirt of material life is altogether vanquished. Verse number four. Because Bhagavad Gita is spoken by a supreme personality of Godhead, Padmanabhasya, one may need not read any other Vedic literature. One need, need only attentively and regularly hear and read Bhagavad Gita. In the present age, people are so absorbed in mundane activities that it is not possible for them to read all the Vedic literatures. But this is not necessary. This one book, Bhagavad Gita, will suffice because it is the essence of all Vedic literature and especially because it is spoken by the Supreme Personality of Godhead. <coughs> Verse number five. <coughs> Keep the maybe the exhaust open and door open. Maybe other side. Hare Krishna, please come. Hare Krishna, please. We just started <coughs> Gita Mahatmya, began with so we are reading the translation of Gita Mahatmya. Verse number five of Gita Mahatmya One who drinks the water of the Ganga attains salvation. So, what to speak of one who drinks the nectar of Bhagavad Gita? Bhagavad Gita is the essential nectar of Mahabharata and it is spoken by Lord Krishna himself, the original Vishnu. Bhagavad Gita comes from the mouth of Supreme Personality of Godhead and the Ganga is said to be emanating from the lotus feet of the Lord. Of course, there is no difference between the mouth and the feet of the Supreme Lord. But from an impartial study, we can appreciate that Bhagavad Gita is even more important than the water of Ganga. Verse number 6. The Gita, this Gita Upanishad, Bhagavad Gita, the essence of all the Upanishads is just like a cow. And Lord Krishna, who is famous as a cowherd boy, is milking this cow. Arjuna is like a, just like a calf. And the learned scholars and few devotees are to drink the nectarian milk of Bhagavad Gita. And the verse number 7, this is the last verse. In this present day, people are very much eager to have one scripture, one God, one religion and one occupation. Therefore, Ekam Shastram Devaki Putra Gitam. Let there be one scripture only. One common scripture for the whole world is Bhagavad Gita. Eko Deva Devaki Putra Eva. Let there be one God for the whole world, Sri Krishna. Eko mantras chatasya namani and one hymn, one mantra, one prayer, the chanting of his name. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Karma bi ekam tasya devasya seva. Let there be one work only, the service of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Um, that is the last. We finished now. So, yeah. Now we'll end that. Otherwise, it will echo. Yeah. So we just started. We went through the Gita Mahatmya. Now we'll try to understand after the prayers to the previous acharyas about Bhagavad Gita's purpose, uh, how one should hear, one should read. Um, so why we should uh, study Bhagavad Gita? So all that aspects.
ओम ज्ञान तुम्हें ज्ञानांजन शलाकया चक्षुर्मीलिता तस्म श्री गुरव मुखम करोति वाचाल पंगु लंगयते गिरी यत्कृपा तम वंदे श्री गुर दिन परमानंद माधव श्री चैतन्य वंचाकल्पतरुभ्य कृपा सिंधु पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नमो जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्रीअद्वैत गदाधार श्रीवासादिगौरभक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे श्री चैतन्य मनोविष्ट स्थापित मेनभूतले स्वयं रूप कदा मह्यम ददा स्वापदाति Thank you for joining. So, before we get into Bhagavad Gita, so we have four four Vedas. Most of you know maybe <laughs> Rig Veda, Sama Veda, Ajur Veda, Natar Veda. These are the four Vedas. Who has created this? Because it has come from the mouth of the Supreme Lord. I say he Mahaputasya is the verse specifically quoting this. Now it has come from the Supreme Lord's mouth. Gita 3.15, Prabhupada himself quotes. This is from Brahadaranya Upanishad 4.5.11. Asya Mahato Putasya Nisvasitam Eta Dyat Rug Veda Ajur Veda Sam Veda Atarva Angirasa. The four Vedas, namely Rug Veda, Ajur Veda, Sam Veda, Atar Veda, are all emanations from the breathing of the great Supreme Personality of Godhead. The Lord, being omnipotent, can speak by breathing air. So just like when he is lying down as Karano the Kasai Vishnu, by just simply by sweat he is filling the water whole ocean is there. When we sweat, hardly anything comes out, one drop even. Uh, but same way, one is breathing, uh, this is coming out. Uh, Vedas, four Vedas are coming out. So that way, it is up our shay. It is not man-made. It is no one has created this Vedas. It's not a ordinary material book. Uh, some Andy Bhatt or someone written this. Uh, it is not like that. Uh, so, not only that, in the Bhagavad Gita itself, Lord Krishna, there is a verse in chapter 3, verse number 15. Um, Karma Brahmodvam Vidhi Brahmaksha Samodvam Nityam Yajne Pratishtitam. Uh, so, the, in that verse also, it is the same thing is mentioned. Karma Brahmodvam Vidhi. The activity is are produced from the ignas. The prescribed duty is the activities are produced from karma, brahmod, bhavam, vidhi. Vidhi means regulated to principle Vedas. Vedas are enjoying <laughs> the certain prescribed activities for certain type of people. Brahmana, Kshatriya, Vaisya, Sudra, or Brahmachari, Grastavana, Prasanya, different category of people. Intelligent class, administrative class, worker class, uh, business class, and worker class. Four different departments, like head to toe. You have head department, you have Arms department, stomach, belly department, and leg department. Four has to work together in order for body to function. Same way, the four class of people has to work. Uh, so for them, there are certain type of duties, activities as prescribed. Head cannot do on legs job. So that's why this is prescription is there. Where it is prescribed, that is prescribed in the Vedas. Karma Brahmodham, Brahmaksha Samudham. Where did Vedas come from? Brahmaksha Samudham. It has come from the Supreme Lord. Brahmaksha Samudham. This Brahman. Brahma means it is not an impersonal appellation, but there is a personality behind it, supreme personality of Godhead. So that's where it came from. Then Nitya Yajne Pratishtitam, all this transcendence is situated in the Igna sacrifices. So that's where one must engage in the sacrifices. That sacrifice for the Kali Yuga is chanting the holy name of the Lord. Dhyatro Vishyam, no. Kalo, no, what is it? Tretayam, no. Krutaya Dhyatro Vishnu, Tretayam Ejito Makai. And then Dvaparya and Parisharyaya, Kalavata Dhari Kirtana. In four yuga, there is Yuga Dharma for each age. Um, Satya Yuga, Krutha Yuga as a Dharma of uh, <coughs> Kutaya Dhyayato Vishnu. Meditating, because 100,000 years they used to live. So that's why they can meditate for so long time. Like Valmiki was there in Satya Yuga at that time. You know, Patreta Yuga, he was there. 60,000 years he meditated, as we are hearing yesterday also. Uh, was that? Uh, 10,000 years. Uh, meditated. Uh, who is that? Kardamani. Kardamani meditated 10,000 years. So that is also in Krutha Yuga. <laughs> because people used to live that long, 100,000 years, no problem. That was Yuga Dharma meditation. But in the second age, Treta Yuga, it is further down. 10,000 years only people used to live. So that's why Treta Ayam, Ejito Makai, worshipping. 
no, no, the sacrifices, big, big sacrifices, some other sacrifices, uh, various other sacrifices, which takes a lot of, you need uh, pure brahmanas who can chant the mantras, who uh, can uh, know the in and out of these various, uh, these Vedas, Upanishads, uh, and prayers accordingly, properly, and chanting, all that. So it requires a lot of um, study. So, um, Tretayam, Ejito, Makrai, and Dvaparyayam, Parisaryayam. In Dvapar Yuga is Archana process. Um, worshipping the deity, Archana Marga is the more. Because thousand years they used to live, that is Dvapar Yuga. And then the Kali Yuga, Kalauta Dhari Kirtanat. For Kali Yuga, it is very, very difficult to even uh, mind to be absorbed. So that's why Hari Kirtan, chanting the holy name of the Lord is a prescribed method. People only live maximum 100 years. And that uh, itself is very difficult. At the end of Kali Yuga, in 12th canto, Srimad Bhagavatam, it is described, people only will live 20 years itself is the maximum duration. You will not see mango, but you will, see, you will not see the seed. You will only see the skin. So like that, in the end of Kali Yuga, that's how it will be. All these are described in beginning of Kali Yuga, how it will be, who has ruled it, middle, who will be ruling it, at the end, what is going to happen. All those details are given in the 12th canto of Srimad Bhagavatam, general history, so that you know. It is not some mythology somebody has just created out of blue. No, it has its significance. If you study it, then you know that it is uh, clearly laid out how this uh, uh, material world is created and how it is evolving, how it is going to be destroyed, and again it gets recreated. So all these aspects are clearly laid out. And so, so that is the <clears throat> first thing we want to understand here about the Vedas. The first clearance. No, it is not created by somebody else. Uh, so that, and then we have four Vedas. Uh, there is Rugveda, Veda, Yajur Veda, Sam Veda, Atar Vedas. These are called Srutis. In the previous ages, everybody used to hear. As soon as once hearing Sruti Dara, they can absorb it. They can understand it. So they have to hear from the spiritual master or Gurukul. They used to go and learn from it. Learn from the teachers. But in the case of Kali Yuga, so it is not so. Even after hearing so many times, still we have a hard time remembering it. So that's why Vyasadev, every four uh, Yuga cycles before Kali Yuga appears, Vyasadev, who is a, a literary incarnation of God, who appears and who writes this four, uh, four Vedas. And then uh, further, this is originally only one Veda. It is divided into four Vedas, Rukh Veda, Isur Veda, Sam Veda, Athar Veda. Out of that Rukh Veda, we all know, we have heard it. Rukhveda, just like Om Tat Vishnu, Paramam Padam Sada, Vasyanta Surya, Divi Chakshu, Atatanda, Vaso, Vipanya, Jagravam, Dhate, Samindhate, Vishnu, Et Paramam Padam. So this is the word generally when we um, tie the thread, put the tilak, generally we chant this. Uh, where Lord Vishnu, many other gods are mentioned. There is a pancha, pancha upasana is there. But uh, ideally at the end of Rukhveda, if you study carefully, you will see Lord Vishnu. It starts with... Uh, uh, Surya, Ganesha, Shakti, and then <coughs> Surya, Ganesha, Shakti, Shiva, and then Vishnu. Five Upasana, Pancha Upasana it is called. But it is gradually. If you study half here and there, you pick up things, then you can think, oh, this is all in all. But if you study carefully, then you will see that Lord Vishnu is the ultimate Paramam Padam. And then further, uh, in the same Rukhveda, we also heard that Purusha Sukta prayers. Uh, whenever there is Ignas, whenever there is a um, uh, installation ceremony of deities, most of the pujas, wherever you see any temples, any most of the Hindu temples, even though they might be worshipping demigods, but still, generally these Purusha Sukta prayers are chanted. Sastra Sirsha Purusha Sastra Aksha Sastra Pasa Bhum Vishwata Vritya Atya Dishtad Dishangulam Purusha Yevedagam Sarvam. So these are, this is the Purusha Sukta prayer. Sastra is how... Lord Vishnu is expanding himself a thousand headed. Everywhere his head is there, his eyes is there, his legs is there. So the whole Brahmanda is expanded himself. So that, that is what they are chanting. Lord Brahma chants along with all the demigods. They go to Kshira Sagra Ocean whenever there is a problem. Like the demigods and demons fight. Uh, when they go to Lord Brahma, there is a problem. Then Lord Brahma takes all the demigods, go to Kshira Sagra Ocean, which is there. Which is almost like Vaikuntha. It is Vaikuntha. Within this material universe, there is a planet which we are not able to see. The demigods can see uh, Kshira Sagaroshana, but they cannot enter. That uh, it is the that area, there is the Milky Ocean in between. In the center, Lord uh, Kshira Sai Vishnu, third Mahavishnu, out of three Purusha avatars. 
is lying in that middle of the milk ocean. They can't approach him. Lord Brahma is the one who is leading. He is the one who recites the process of the prayers. Communication language. Like we are speaking in English. So their language is in Sanskrit. Uh, uh, and then the verses. Uh, there is nothing but Purushokta. So this is decoding. So they are glorifying through Purushokta. And then he sends a message to Lord Vishnu. In the, who is in the middle of the ocean. Kshira Sagar ocean. That this is the problem. Then Lord Vishnu sends back in the heart of Lord Brahma. What, how he should be solving the problem. So, so that's how this communication happens. They cannot even approach. You can even, this is in the material world. Even that particular area is spiritual like Vaikuntha. But you can understand the position of the, even Lord Brahma. What is our position? We are minute. So in this way it is described about this uh, Rukveda. And then Ezur Veda. Then you have uh, uh, Sama Veda, Atharveda. Sama Veda is more of a songs, and Ajur Veda is more related to Ignas, and then uh, Atharveda also some um, verses, some mantras are there. So in this way, four Vedas are there, and then you have these four Vedas are further um, divided. Uh, these are Srutis here, and then there are, we have also uh, Vedangas, and then we have Upanishads, 108 Upanishads further. Upanishad means uh, one who uses this Upanishad is to come close to the Lord. Upanishad means coming close to the Lord. It is not so much just like Upavas. Upavas is not so much fasting. It is by engaging in the hearing or chanting or some devotional activity to come close to the Lord. That is the Upavas actual meaning of Upavas. And same thing is Upanishad is to bring a living entity, a practitioner or a jiva to come close to the, to bring him close to the Lord. That is the main purpose of Upanishads. So Veda is more, much more coded and further it is distilled into 108 Upanishads. Out of them, 13 Upanishads are prominent. Uh, one of them is more prominent, Isha Upanishad, which talks about Supreme Lord's supreme, uh, supreme position, 18 verses only, smallest Upanishad. Very, very important Upanishad. Prabhupada translated the whole Upanishad. Generally, we study that before Bhagavad Gita because it gives some foundational knowledge. It laid out, lays out the principle of hmm, the first verse itself. We chant Isa uh, Vasyam, uh, no, Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamadachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Avasishate. How Lord is complete and everything from coming from Him is complete. After producing also is still complete. Like 2 minus 2 is 2. This is of the spiritual world. This is the positional supreme lord. He is producing all the living entities. He is producing the material world. But still he is complete. In the material world, if you take any bank balance or anything, if you, if you produce something, then you are uh, you have some deteriorated something of that uh, what, from where you produced. Uh, whether it's uh, gold, whether it's money, you utilize it, then it... Uh, Reduces, but in the case of Supreme, it is not so. He is always full in full. So that is the uh, position. Of, that's why that verse is chanted whenever you at the end of Ignas. That means remaining also is full at the end, after, despite producing so many things. So that, that is his open. So describing the supreme, supreme position of the Supreme Lord. And the 18 verses are laid out like vision how one must have a Shastra Chakshu. Whenever we see uh, things, we should see in the, through the eyes of Shastra. And then we have to apply it. That is the vision it is giving. And then it is giving guidelines. How one should lead a life. That is the second aspect. The 18 verses are divided into three categories. Iso, Manishad, vision, and then guidelines. And then the prayers. Because you have the guidelines, but still you require strength. You require intelligence. How will you get it? You have to pray. So what kind of prayers that is being given in that vision, guidelines, prayers. In this way, Yishu Upanishad is categorized into this high-level buckets of Shastra, Chakshu, vision, and guidelines and prayers. Then after having that foundational knowledge, and then you come to the... So in this uh, 108 Upanishads, 13 Upanishads is prominent, Yishu Upanishad, and then you have Mundak Upanishad, Manduk Upanishad, Kena Upanishad, Pradharanik Upanishad, uh, and may other, a few other Upanishads. But this is Upanishad is the one which is uh, written, uh, translated by Sri Prabhupada. So it's an uh, important one out of all. Uh, and then uh, you have uh, also Vedangas. So 
Vedangas means like the, you have jo, um, Silpa Veda, Jyotish Veda, Danur Veda, Ayur Veda. These are the four Angas. It's also part of the Vedas, but subdivided, so it becomes easy. If you want to establish, install the deity, like today or yesterday, we had installation of uh, Sri Radha Samsundar in Nepal village in Chicago. So there, so for that installation, it is not the deity you make, you go to some store and you buy it. They need to follow some Shilpa Shastra. Uh, their generation themselves are using that knowledge from the book. <coughs> they have to learn from someone. And then they utilize it to certain nose has to be like this. Eyes has to be like this, this much land, this much breadth, and how they look. All the de uh, details are there. According to that Selpa Shastra, they have to uh, create the murtis. Otherwise, they, it won't. That's why we don't buy Iskan. Each Sampradaya, they have their own system to wear and how they should follow. So especially we buy from generally from Jaipur. Uh, so then we see that this verse of the four Vedas further it is mentioned. In today's world, we simply chanting the holy name of the Lord Hari, Lord uh, Hari's name, we can get the benefit of all the four Vedas. This is also in Bhagavad Gita, is there eight chapter Krishna himself is speaking. This is in uh Chaitanya Chartamra Adilir seven seventy two. Rugveda, Ata, Yajur Veda, Sama Veda, Api, Atharvana, Adi, Adita, Stena, Yenoktam, Hari, Riti, Aksharat, Vayam. A person who chants the two syllables, Ha, Ri, has already studied the four Vedas. Uh, Sama, Rugveda, Yajur Veda, and Atharveda. So the Rugveda, as I mentioned, the most important, according to scholars, oldest of the Vedas, it is divided into 10 books called Mandalas. It has 1,028 uh, no, hymns. And praise of various deities. These include, as I mentioned already, the Panchu Pasana. And then it contains the famous Gayatri Mantra and also the Purusha Sukta, which I mentioned. And then Ajur Veda. Ajur Veda contains related to Ignas, which I had mentioned. It divides two sections. And this is black and white. This is the Sukla Ajur Veda and uh, Krishna Ajur Veda. So it has some division, but it is more related to sacrifices. How? Because for each aspect, you have to use, follow these guidelines. Like we follow. Gopal Bhatta Goswami has written Satkriya Saradipika. That is a book we follow. If we need to do anything, Archana or Egnya, anything, whether it's a uh, Mundan ceremony or a hair cutting ceremony or the ear piercing ceremony, everything we follow that book. Those are the guidelines. And then we don't uh, come up with something. It has to be followed the guidelines. So, the same here, as mentioned, this is from the Ayurveda. Obviously, Gopal Bhatta Goswami has taken some of the prescriptions and then he has written a book as per the. Vedas and Upanishads. So, and then Sama Veda consists of chants and melodies to be sung during the worship and performance of Yajna. Natar Veda contains hymns, mantras, incantations largely outside the scope of Yajna. And this way, these four Vedas. And then these, within these four Vedas, there are two divisions, Karma Kanda section and the Gnana Kanda section. Uh, so, the Karma Kanda is uh, Samhitas and uh, Brahmanas. Not Brahmana means not the actual Brahmanas. This is a different. So, Samhita means literally collections in the case of hymns and mantras. So, because for each of the aspects of when we do the ignas or do any activity in devotion service, especially in Achana Padati, we have to follow this. And then Brahmanas, prose, manuals, or ritual, prayer for guiding priests. Uh, so, how it should be done. So, manual means gui guidelines, like guidance procedure we call in IT. So, manuals, same thing here. Also, how to conduct. Then the Gnana Kanda section, more philosophical understanding. That is, uh, so two divisions. The first two are more of Karma Kanda, how to do work, I means Ignas or the other things. And then the second two are the Aranyakas and Upanishads. The Aranyakas are uh, forest books for hermits and saints. This is more for the Vanaprastha, you can say, Aranyakas, that's why. And then, uh, yeah, Upanishads, this book of philosophy called Vedanta. So the four Vedas are being distilled. And coming to Vedanta, so Gita, um, Bhagavad Gita is called Gita Upanishad. Prabhupada talks about the first line, he talks in the introduction. So out of all the Upanishads, this is the essence of even all the Upanishads. Uh, so that is being described. Now the Vedangas uh, describing are the Upavedas. Upavedas, four Upavedas, as I mentioned, Ayurveda for medicine um, we use. And then uh, we have Gandharva Veda, music and dance. So that is everything is... As per Sanatana Dharma, everything follows a prescription. And we don't create something. Nowadays, there is so much, uh, uh, you know, creation, uh, uh, concoction. But uh, in the olden days, this is how it is. Dhanur Veda, warfare. Nowadays, the bombs fail. 
it doesn't they it can destroy everything else but in the olden it is not like dhanurveda means if you hit the target only target gets destroyed targets gets affected nothing else so that is exactly to the point and the, that's what dhanurveda is defined dhanurveda warfare and shilpa veda architecture which i mentioned these are the four upavedas and then uh, the vedangas are also mentioned where the broad category in all these vedas upanishad everything there is a broader category of uh, six aspects kalpa ritual details then shiksha pronunciation how words should be pronounced all that and then vyakarana grammar some of us may have learned it in the childhood and then uh, fourth is nirukti etymology definitions and you know and chandas meter so each verse there is some meter some other devotee sing but we don't need propal has given clear guidelines don't need to worry too much about astrology yes you can know if you want to know just but do your thing don't be too much attached to it. same thing don't be too much into getting into sanskrit unless you have utilization don't try to learn new languages you want to become a sanskrit expert this is not our process our process is to learn and how to lead our life successful life not so much about your sanskrit or grammar or to some extent if you are trying to become something because of your profession or you are going to utilize some preaching for specific aspects maybe so that, but that still you should get a guidance but this is not prescribed by sir prophet in general for most of the people except only in few cases is prescribed and then jyoti astrology and astronomy it's good to learn, know like prophet also sometimes consulted what do the astrologers say but he moves on he was not so much attached to oh, if he said that then i shouldn't go out of the house to, uh, for next few days no then no he is not like guys fully dependent on krishna he just want to know so for others benefit he just want to know so in this way we can understand the vedas upavedas upanishads vedangas now comes vedanta sutra this vyasa after writing dividing and then he distributed obviously that we are not going to get into it each of these vedas divisions and then he has given to his disciples so many disciples kanada gautama many of the astavakra there are five or six he has divided and then gave uh, and there are different uh, philosophies also vaibhasika karma mimamsa many philosophies are there so he has divided those into the uh, jaimini uh, but vedanta sutra is prominent vedanta sutra has uh, almost how many are there uh, Uh, it says total 550 550 aphorisms divided between four chapters so these are the vedanta aphorisms is coded language just like in bhagavad gita you see that four verses in 10th chapter of uh, appliances of the absolute just four verses dis- gives description about the whole bhagavad gita you can understand 700 plus verses has to be included in four verses you can understand how much so that is what sutra coded sutra like mangala sutra we call for marriage so the power the potency is there and mangala sutra is the main in the marriage same way here sutra means it is almost pretty much everything is concluded we also call paribhasa sutra if there is a one verse which i am speak about whole bhagavad gita that is called paribhasa sutra so that is the purpose of whole bhagavad gita there are the three other are three four verses in bhagavad gita which talks about essence of bhagavad gita purpose of bhagavad gita more or less interrelated but the one verse which uh, acharyas and propad shastra prescribes is the 15.15 in purushottam prapti yoga very important verse why we should study bhagavad what is the purpose end result what it should be is to know krishna and uh, to practice to develop love with krishna and attain krishna that is the goal actual purpose of bhagavad gita if if anybody else has any other purpose then it is not the actual real purpose of reading studying bhagavad gita so 15.15 lord says sarvasya chaham hruti sannivishto matta smrte gnanam apohanam cha vedaischa sarve raham eva vedyo vedanta krut veda vid eva chaham i am supposed to be known veda vid eva chaham veda means knowledge not material it also include but more so spiritual knowledge transcendental knowledge so sarvasya jaham hruti sannivishta i am there in everybody's heart as a paramatma ever living and not only human being but specific to human being because they are english that is the first to vedanta ke forism is janmadya syata or the atato brahma jignasa one must have inquisitiveness to understand uh, that that should be there 
Then only one is somebody is coming to learn Bhagavad Gita. They want to get Bhagavad Gita book or Krishna some book of transcendental spirituality because they have some inquisition, some spark is there, some inquiry is there. We'll talk, get into the more. Uh, it is interesting to see apply on a day-to-day -day basis this uh, some practical practical understanding uh, how we can see this Adato Brahma Jignas inquiry how it leads. Uh, so with the Adato Brahma Jigna, but I was talking about something else before. What I am discussing. Uh, I forgot the flow. Yeah, Sarvas Jaham Radhisanivisto. Lord is situated as Paramatma. Matas Pradir Gyanam Apohanchi is giving the forgetfulness, is giving the remembrance. If one wants, I don't believe in God. Or if at all, no, no, I, I, I have some other things to do, I don't. I will do my work, I become a nice person, I don't need to depend on God, I don't need anything, I don't need to go to Him. That is His belief, because Lord is giving. He doesn't want Him, then what you will do? Forgetfulness. Matas Pradir Gyanam Apohanchi. I will give forgetfulness. One who wants me, then I will give remembrance. So he is telling, I am there, but to the degree he wants me, to the degree I will remind him. To the degree he doesn't want me, I will, I will give you forgetfulness. Both he is giving. Matas Pritir Granam Apohanancha. Then he describes that Vedaicha Sarvair Ahame Vedyu. All the Vedas, Upanishads, you compile the whole nine yards of this whole systematic knowledge, but everything is for all the uh, souls to know about me. Vedaicha Sarvair. Sarvair means all. Aham eva vedyo. I am the supreme. I am the essence. Everything is coming from me. Aham eva vedyo. Vedanta krit. I am the compiler of Vedanta. Because literary in Karna Vyasdev. Who is the expansion of expansion of Vyasdev. So he is the compiler. Aham eva vedanta krit. Veda vid eva chaham. And I am to be known. If you are studying, then ultimately you should know about who I am. Where do I live? What is my quality? What is my rupa? Uh, what is my pastimes? Nama, rupa, guna, lila. These four aspects. So that's why it takes time. Otherwise, Krishna says, as soon as you know about me, then you can go back to Godhead. But we don't know right now. We don't have 100% faith. Janma karma cha medivyam yogam yo veti tal tekka deham punar janma neit maame soja. Since we have no 100% faith, conviction, and about the Lord's holy name, Lord's uh, form, Lord's quality, Lord's pastime. We have some difficulty, that's why we are stuck in this material world right now. Because that the, but the process is to come to that 100% perfection. To 100% perfection of Krishna's understanding, and Krishna's position, Krishna's energies, our living end is position, the material energy position, and Krishna's position, Krishna's expansion position, all these. We'll have, we can never become 100%. We can never know Krishna 100%. Because he himself, the Ananta Devi, the expanded itself, they cannot know. He is so unlimited. Demigod themselves cannot know. Unlimited. His Lord is unlimited. But we'll be able to know at least from Tattva, from Siddhanta, uh, his position, our position, our relationship, and the love, the exchange, all these things we will be able to know. And then practice, and then the exchange that love. That is the whole purpose of the Bhagavad that is called Paribasa Sutra. Bhagavad Gita has Paribasa Sutra, Nectar of Instruction has Paribasa Sutra, Nectar of Devotion has Paribasa Sutra, Srimad Bhagavad has Paribasa Sutra. Each of these transcendental books has one coded verse uh, and four verses. This one verse is more expanded into four verses that is called Chatus Loki Bhagavad Gita. And same way Bhagavatam also has Chatus Loki Srimad Bhagavatam. In Canto 2, verse number, chapter 9, verse number 31 or so, four verses are there. So in this way, so you can see. Vedas, Vedangas, Upanishads, and the Vedanta Sutra coded into this, what, 550 I said? Yeah, 550 or so, and divided into four chapters. But starting is this Atato Brahma Jignasa, inquiring, inquisitiveness. Now going back to 751, important point I want to say. So, maybe first we'll talk about this, then we'll talk about our body, then we'll maybe go a little bit deeper. I haven't touched upon the introduction. But this is a good question, good analogy to apply. So the Atato Brahma Jignasa, we are talking about inquiry about the absolute truth. When we go to doctor or when we go to even car, take a car to mechanic also, you can see if you apply a little bit logic, uh, some sense, then you will be able to understand this point I am making. 
So the, you are first of all inquiring. If you have a problem, you are trying to go to the doctor. First, there is an inquiry. Either a husband has or a wife has an inquiry. May, sometimes husband may not want to go to the doctor. Then a wife says, no, you should go to the doctor. So first, there is an inquiry somewhere in the house. Then it leads to, okay, now I should make an appointment. So the inquiry is leading to, this is the same thing, transcendental subject matter. Someone has an inquiry, some inquisitiveness. There is some, something, either he had a problem to deal with or something has happened which caused him to inquire. So that is the starting point. Uh, as we are talking about the health problem, hmm? so or the car problem. So they have these inquiries there first. That inquiry is leading into examination next. Hmm? When you go to doctor, there is a prescription. He's going to give you medicine. Medicine is going to prescribe you both the dietary aspect of it and what to do and what not to do. What not to do. So not only diet, but what to follow, what not to do. So and then how to avoid certain things. What caused in many of the cases it to come to this disease. But he will examine it first. So after the inquiry, uh, the about the supreme absolute truth. Then one must examine. So, what is this process of devotion services? What is this um, Bhagavad Gita entails? Uh, so, what is this karma means? What is jnana means? One must examine thoroughly, scrutinizingly. Um, that's why in Bhagavad Gita we will see, and then uh, in Srimad Bhagavatam also you will see that. Thus, Runvan Su Patan Vicharana Paro Vimuche Naraha. One who wants to be liberated from the conditioned life, then he must examine. Scrutinizingly study. Thus, Rinuvan, you hear properly, like Pravishta, Karna, Andreana, Swanam, Bhava, Sarurham, Dunoti, Samalam, Krishna, Sililam, Yata, Sarat. Nicely, it should enter through the ear holes into the touch, into the heart. The heart. So, that's how you are. Satam, Prasangat, Mamavirya, Samvido, Bhavant, Hrat, Karna, Rasayana, Taj, Joshana, the Pavar, Jovatam, Sadda, Bhakti, Ratir, Anukramishit. And especially, Prabhupada talks about this. Uh, it touching to the heart from ear holes, it has to touch in the association of devotees. You should hear why because when the material world was created, actually, when the we call in a virya chodita, so the, the, the spiritual potency uh, uh, of the supreme lord, when the mode of ignorance is in touch with the spiritual potency of supreme virya chodita, then the actually sound has produced sound has come about with the mode of ignorance uh, it is in touch with mode of ignorance mixture uh, then um, uh, sound has produced from sound ether has come from ether the air has come then the fire then water then earth these five elements has produced but the first one sound so the big bang or whatever they call sound is the first one sound and ether is more and hearing so that's why if, it, if the material world is produced from the sound, the same sound, if one wants to be delivered from this material world, then he needs to hear. He needs to hear. So that's why Satam Prasangat Mama Virya Samvido Bhavanti Hrat Karna Rasayana Ajoshanat Apavarga Vartamani. Apavarga means this Papa Papa Ma, which means you work very hard, parishtam, then you have. Uh, Foam comes in the night when you sleep saliva and, and all. And then if fear comes of losing, nobody wants to die. Everybody wants happiness. Uh, everybody is looking for knowledge. As soon as the baby is born, it's touching, licking, and uh, uh, later on it will share with others. The babies, boys or girls, they share with others. But initially they will start licking. They want it. They don't want to give it to anybody. They will uh, cry otherwise if you take away things from them. So this is the general tendency. We are looking for knowledge. We don't want to die because we are soul is eternal. So that's the two different. The gross body, the subtle body, spiritual body. The karma, jnana, bhakti, if you go further. Body is doing karma. It has to do. It cannot sit idle. And then uh, jnana, the subtle body. In the daytime, you are enjoying the gross body. In the nighttime, you are enjoying subtle body. When you are sleeping, you don't have a clue. When your dream is coming, what's happening? Gross body is lying down. Only subtle body is enjoying. At the time, subtle body is the one which is playing with certain objects. It is real. When this life or the past life or the interaction you had, you are thinking about something, those are the coming in dreams, bits and pieces coming together. 
So that is subtle body. Mind intelligence, false ego is called subtle body. The gross body is the one which is working. A subtle body, mind is a false ego. So that's why there's a karma has to be done. Karma has to be done properly so that we can purify this karma. And then we have jhana, the mind intelligence also has to be properly utilized. You have to examine these things. That's it. The body we have to examine. And then this Bhagavad Gita we have to examine. The problem what we have today, why we are here in this material, why we are suffering, how this material, these all things has to be examined. So that's why there's an inquiry, then there's the examination, then there's the treatment. Okay, now you examined it. What is what? You know gross body, you know subtle body, you know the spiritual body, the soul. Soul is different from gross body. The gross and subtle, both. It is different. So the body is always looking for enjoyment. However hard you try, body is always looking for enjoyment. And soul is always looking for spiritual happiness. This happiness cannot be obtained by any other means. And it cannot be obtained by our own endeavor. That also is true. It can only be, the soul can only obtain its transcendental happiness only when you are associating with devotees, especially when you are getting the knowledge from a bona fide acharya, bona fide sampradaya, from a pure devotee of the Lord, then the soul actually gets happiness. That's why satam prasangat, satam means devotees. Who are those devotees? Those who are Apani acharit jivera sikhai, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said. One who is following the previous acharya's instructions themselves, then he is teaching. Apani acharit jivera sikhai. Then there is an effect for himself and for others who is hearing. And following in the push of previous acharya, he is not concocting something. He is following as a transparent via media, like postman. Postman is only delivering, he is not adding subtract. Extra Prabhupada uses that example. So in this way, you can understand the examination aspect. The inquiry aspect, the examination aspect, the treatment aspect, the, uh, the examining of a gross body, subtle body, the soul. That's why we need spiritual master. That's why we need to come to the association. That's why we need to hear. Why we have to hear, why we have to study. This is the purpose. Because souls, otherwise you can try a hundred things. On vacation or eating or drinking, watching, whatever you can try. You can go upside down. You can never get souls eternal happiness. It is not possible. It can only be obtained when you receive it from the authority, bona fide acharya. Then you get the start getting the happiness. The drops and it will become more and more ocean. So as you get into enter into it, bhakti. That is why it is not of the gross body. That's why I mentioned gross body, subtle body, and then karma, jnana. Actually, you have to do bhakti. Then the soul gets happy. Where is the bhakti? Bhakti is of pradaya, the heart. It is not of the body, gross body. It is not of the subtle body. And the Krishna is not mentioning karmenam abhijana. Krishna is not mentioning dhanenanam abhijana. Rather, he is mentioning bhaktyamam abhijana. Only by bhakti. Bhakti, where it is coming from? It, it is coming from the heart. It has to do with love. No other things can work. Only out of actual real love, genuine love, then actual happiness will come, real happiness. So that's why these things have to be examined. Whole Bhagavad Gita is how these 18 chapters has to be examined. Scrutiny thus from one su patan means you have to study yourself, go back home, but you have to hear and then and uh, note it down scrutinizingly, hear uh, patiently and uh, attentively hear thus from one from one then su patan again go back because it has it is like a uh, what you call uh, container heart is a container. Your mind is also a container. But in order for it to hold, once you hear, you go back and refer. As well, that is what I have done in the in the beginning. I was talking about yesterday also. Because of our uh, senior devotee Hariram Prabhu used to speak, Srimad Bhagavatam in the beginning, many years ago, about Narada Muni's example, how he simply heard, simply tasted remnants, he developed great attachment, and he, come, he is able to hear from Krishna, his voice, in just hardly few months, six months or a year. Very, very short. I was amazed how this is possible. For a son of a Sudrani, he doesn't have anybody, he has no qualification. How this is possible? It is an impossible task. So by applying that, then I was contemplating, hearing from him, and then going back home. Then I used to read, contemplate oh, throughout the day the same verse. If I forget, go back to the verse again, read the translation, perfect. Again, meet it. What's happening exactly? What is it examining more and more? So by that, then. Uh, I have developed a great taste to read and hear from Sri Prabhupada and read Prabhupada's actual the book, purport and translation. On top of it, hear from Prabhupada's lecture for that verse, there are le uh, lectures, uh, classes also. 
so then so then we can understand actually start to understand this actual process of the, how this actual love generates how the soul is getting energy from super soul how this is working if you examine it carefully then you will know until that point it is very difficult to know where this energy is coming how the energy is working how the intelligence is coming how the strength is coming for one who is dedicating is life and soul is mind intelligence is body everything so that's why this inquiry the examination then the, obviously the treatment treatment of uh, medicine the diet uh, what we should avoid what we should eat what we shouldn't eat and then he is giving the supplements medicine if you have cholesterol this problem if you have this problem you have to take these pills so that medicine is our krishna conscious diet the prasad and then you have the chanting of the holy name of the lord and hearing when you are taking bath you can chant ganga three times you can also chant what you are learning the bhagavad gita verses few other verses so that you are conscious otherwise mind is always thinking something else rather you avoid thinking something else rather you chant you think of krishna as a past time the verses whatever it is something to do with naam roop guna leela whatever it could be so in this way mind is and intelligence is absorbed ena tena prakara ena mara krishna nishe samhar the mind has to be fixed so that's why we have to use this various mechanism uh, based on our life previous life uh, previous years experience some are interested in more verses some are interested in past time some are interested in chanting some are interested in singing whatever you use whatever uh, uh, proclivities uh, some interests are there so you utilize that utilize it to more absorb absorption so that is what is required shravanam has to lead to that absorption recollection meditation um, um yeah the five aspects recollection reflection meditation absorption one more thing i'm forgetting shravana to varana to um, yeah shravana varana or niridhyasana manana and niridhya three aspects are if you more categorize further there is shravana dasha there is smarana dasha then there is varana dasha then uh, samadhi dasha the uh, sampatti dasha in verse number 8 of next of instruction prabhu goswami is talking about much more detail but for introduction that is more too detail but you can at least start uh, thinking about the exam taking your car to a mechanic or taking ourselves to a doctor what is happening and then apply the same aspect into bhagavad gita how you should study why you should study what is the end goal where you are starting and where you want to go and how you should examine it as you go through these verses and chapters why krishna has said, said this verse this section what exactly is talking about why he has said this certain aspects uh, so what is arjuna's position uh, in that uh, why he is questioning in this way so you have to understand the context and understand the sequence of it and the connection from chapter to chapter then when you study in this way examining and systematically study then whole bhagavad gita will become like a piece of cake but it requires uh, some uh, some work on our side and it requires some attention also on our side some priority also on our side and requires some months and years easily yes some months at least few years of uh, serious study then uh, life will become a blissful it becomes uh, whatever the externally whatever may go on but nothing will as because the soul is getting always happiness so whatever you may put in you, condition you may put in nothing agitates nothing agitates because you are getting that much happiness from within so why do you care about all other things you care but it doesn't hurt you it doesn't really feel you actually uh, morose or aggravated or agitated uh, so the, so this is the the crux this is the uh, first and foremost point i wanted to make already i think time is up 805 we didn't even go into the introduction so i hope uh, i made some sense some logic yes any questions eight of five let's take questions then we can maybe we will have to stop in five ten minutes but let's take any questions anyone has gita is smriti yes shruti is good question shruti is to hear the vedas upanishads is all hearing and since smriti means you are remembering what has happened so because lord krishna has spoke when before on battlefield of kurukshetra before kali yuga started so it has happened the incident where it is it is part of the mahabharat why is it so 
because in Kali Yuga this is going to happen. People don't have time. People want to study novels, read novels, or hear some nice things, comedy, various dinners. So that's why Vyasdev thought, okay, how can I deliver? Lower class, how can I deliver conditioned souls? Okay, let me create a nice thing the, of this Kulchetra War is Mahabharat, but at the same time, I have to give real essence. So the, the 700 plus verses which Lord Krishna spoke on the battlefield is in, included in that. So that Mahabharat, and then you have Ramayana from the previous Trita Yuga. So that is Valmiki has written it, the Vyasdev has written it, the Lord Ganesh has scribed it. So both are called Smritis, because you are remembering what has happened. Smritis you hear uh, directly, uh, then that becomes Smriti. So, and you hear, you get it. So, or maybe multiple times we have to hear it. So that is what Smriti and Smriti, and both has to be followed. Smriti, Smriti, Purana, Panchara, Triki, Vidim, Vina, Aikanti, Bhakti, Rodhpata, Kalpati. So one must follow the Smriti, the essence of the Vedas is in Bhagavad Gita. So that's why you don't need to follow any other book. First, to start with Bhagavad Gita, if you feel more and more connected and understanding it, you want to go a little bit deeper, then you study, slowly start studying Srimad Bhagavatam. Because both goes hand in hand. Bhagavad Gita a little more advanced. But at least we have to get a little bit more into Bhagavad Gita. Then you can get into Bhagavatam. And then Chaitanya Chaitanya, these are third or three steps. Are there one, two, three? There's a high school, there's a degree, and then postgraduate. So, foundational knowledge and more. But Bhagavad Gita has to be always there, always reading. Till our last breath, we should be reading Bhagavad Gita every day. Rupa said, morning Srimad Bhagavatam, evening Bhagavad Gita, in the night Krishna book while sleeping, or sometimes Rupa is to read in the afternoon, three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock in Vrindavan, in LA, many. Many times these pastimes are described, uh, written down. Prabhupada was uh, hearing Krishna book first time because that will be absorption how Krishna has performed so many naughty, mis mischievous uh, activities and pastimes. So it becomes very helpful for the mind to absorb because we want to also do, we want to go and play, we want to go some vacation, we want to do some interesting things. So Krishna also has done interesting things. So that's why when you are absorbed in reading, hearing, then it becomes also helpful for the mind and intelligence to focus. Yeah, Smriti and Smriti. So that's why it is called Smriti. Is that clear? Any other questions? Any questions? No? No questions. Everything is clear. That's good. Yes. Yeah. Vedanta means it's actually the... Vedanta Sutra, you can say, the essence, basically, so Vedanta Sutra, and then further distillation of the Vedanta Sutra, because each one has to be expanded. So that's why there is a Bhashya also. Vedanta Sutra, each of the four bonafide Acharyas has written their commentary. And for our Brahma Madhva Godi Sampraday, there is a Govinda Bhashya written by Baladeva Vidya Bhushan. But Srimad Bhagavatam, because when you study Vedanta Sutra and Srimad the commentary, it's very difficult for us. It's not for us. Means we are not elevated or qualified or intellectual. We are not there yet. So, so for us, the Prabhupada mentioned, the Acharya mentioned, Srimad Bhagavatam is the natural commentary of the Vedanta Sutra. The Bhagavad Gita is the foundation. It is giving um, Gita Upanishad, the essence. The Vedanta is there. Ending of Veda, what he has just mentioned, the 15.15 verse, if you specifically talk about what is Vedanta, is one verse, this verse only. All you have to know is, Understand Krishna's position and uh, practice it and attain it. This is Vedanta. The essence of the, all the four Vedas is this is the conclusion. So this is actually Vedanta. That's why Gita Upanishad, when you read Bhagavad Gita, then you are getting the actual essence, the whole Vedanta. And when the Vedas end, Vedanta, Bhagavad Gita begins. When the Bhagavad Gita ends, Srimad Bhagavatam begins. Because Bhagavad Gita is talking about foundational knowledge to understand Krishna's position, understand our position, and act on that relationship. But Bhagavatam begins, actually it elevates us, it talks about actual pure devotion service. And not only it talks about pure devotion, it doesn't stop there, it talks about in the spiritual world, what are you going to do? Uh, it goes much detail about Goloka Vandavan, the Rasas, even Bhagavad Gita Krishna, Prabhupada is talking about in the introduction, five primary Rasas, seven secondary Rasas. 
If one wants to understand Bhagavad Gita, you need to at least theoretically accept Krishna as Supreme Personality of Godhead. Then you have to understand that there are five primary rasas, Shanta, Dasya, Sakya, Vatsalya, Madhurya. These are the five primary rasas. Then you have seven secondary rasas. As a devotee, generally in our sampradaya, we are not so much interested in the seven secondary. But we are interested in the five primary rasas. Shanta means neutrality, Dasya means master servant, then Sakya is the friendship, and then Vatsalya is parent child, paternity, and then Madhurya is conjugal love, and then there is, in that also there is Swakya and Parakya, but we don't want to get in because we are not there yet. So it's more, it will become imitation otherwise. We are not there yet. And again, further uh, in Brahma Madhva Godi Sampradaya, it's more so we are in the tradition of Vipralamba Bhav, means mood of separation. Love, but in mode of separation. More we become separated, then intensity will increase. Then again, you, you union it, but again you separate. So it's that intensity increases and increases. Krishna sometimes are there, is there with cohort boys, but there are demons coming up, then there are sometimes separation of the gopis. Sometimes Krishna wants to hear chastisement, he goes to some other gopi, then he has chastisement from brother. And like this, all is. Separation is there, union is there, but more so interest in separation, so that intensifies. It, ecstasy increases, uh, so many different waves, so many mixture of rasas will be there, so many flavors, genus will be there. So that's why this, we are in this uh, uh, bhav mode of separation, within that uh, uh, love, of uh, pure love of Godhead. Uh, further, this is beyond I am talking about. In this material world, at the best, you can come to Nishtha stage. Beyond that, you can attain that Nishtha stage also you need. You become sincere, you become fixed up. That is the, that is the max you can condition soul can come to. But you require pure devotee spiritual master guidance and his mercy, his um, strength, spiritual strength, all that. When he gives, then we'll be able to come to the Nishtha, Asakti, Bhava, Krishna, Prema. prema. We'll come to that Prema stage in the material world when you are going to spiritual world. But when you go to spiritual world, it goes beyond completely another spectrum, other side of the spectrum of prema, because it goes further. Sneha, mana, raga, anuraga, uh, um, mahabhava, um, um, then the highest one, the other one only has. This is the in spiritual world. In the material world, only some extent is there. It goes much more beyond. In the last week or before we were describing this, other spectrum of the bhakti. So that's why there are so many aspects, so much more detail and deep is there. Uh, so that's where the foundation ends. Uh, foundation is Bhagavad Gita, then connects to Srimad Bhagavan, which elevates us. When you enter into Chaitanya Chaitanya, this is where it goes. As I was talking about, other spectrum of the Bhakti. Bhagavatam gives some extent, but uh, much more detail, depth is given in Chaitanya Chaitanya. So in this way, you can see the connection of Bhagavad Gita to Bhagavatam to Chaitanya Chaitanya. So it increases our you know, taste, it increases our rasa, uh, it intensifies. We really want to hear, you really want to know what did Chaitanya Mahaprabhu do in this case? What did he exactly, how did he dance, how did he act, what did he say, what did he speak? Uh, so the same aspect what he discussed, I could describe from Chaitanya Chaitanya the exact questions as Arjuna is asking, this examination inquiry is the exact same thing is there from Sanatana Goswami to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So that's why I generally try to bring through my classes always the rasa of Gaur Leela because there is a, almost so many parallels are there for all this from Bhagavad Gita to Chaitanya Chaitanya, Bhagavatam to Chaitanya Chaitanya. It goes to the much more deeper, another level altogether hmm? to the level we are getting in into the generally when you look at the verse, there is one level you can get, but there is a much more deeper and deeper it goes when you apply Mr. Prabhupada's analogies apply Srimad Bhagavatam and then Chaitanya Charitam, it goes much more, very, very deep. So you get the real juice uh, from it. Then you really want to drink. Every day you want to drink it. So, yeah. Any questions? Mutra Prasad, yeah. Feel free to ask. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Don't be shy. No, but with no rules. A general principle is uh, in the beginning. Obviously, we are not the um, 
the lady in Jagannath Puri, she was not even brushing the teeth and she was cooking, not even uh, taking bath, she was cooking. She is at a different level, Raga, uh, natural attack, spontaneous. See, when we are not there, we are mostly in sadhana bhakti. Uh, Vaidhi sadhana bhakti means rules and regulations. So that's why generally you take bath and pick up the book. Online you can read as soon as you woke up, it's fine. You can read from computer, no problem. Or chanting the beads also. If you don't go to the bathroom, then you just, if we only used number one, then, you know, pass water, then you can just go and wash your hands and mouth and face. Go and pick up the beads and chant. That is the first thing because you don't want to wait. Then your time is up. Then the sun comes out. Then you have all other duties comes in the mind. Or people wake up or in your family, then so many things to be done, disturbance. Then you have no actual, the peace of mind is not there. It's very difficult to concentrate on the chanting. So that's why as soon as you get up, first wash your hands and face and mouth. You pick up the beads and chant. Uh, we can read Bhagavad Gita also, ideally. In Brahma Mahurta, that is the best time to read. But any time you can read. If you are not touching the Tulsi beads, you are not touching the bag, then you can chant in the bathroom. There is no problem. So 24 by 7, there is no restriction for chanting the holy name at any time you can chant. You can chant the, but obviously we generally don't chant Om because with related, you know, that kind of, you know, Gayatri or something because it requires some rules and regulations, some condition. But for Hare Krishna Mahamatra, which includes all the mantras, so it, requ it doesn't require any anything else. You, you don't need to be, it already purifies. So everything else. So that's why. For that, there is no restriction. But if you pick up the beads, you need to follow certain things before you pick up. At least some cleanliness has to be the same way. You pick up Bhagavad Gita book, then there should be something. Ideally, you should take bath and then pick up the book. Or if you haven't gone to the bathroom, then hands wash, face, mouth wash. Then you pick. Because when you sleep, the dirtiness is always there. So that's why you have to always be at least a little clean and uh, follow it. So that, other than that, there is not so much rules and regulations. Yes. Kali Santara and Upanishad. But this is there always. It's not that uh, means because it is there. No. It is there in many places uh, in Vedas, Upanishad, in so many different places it is mentioned. But uh, prominently in Kali, out of 100, this Kali Santara and Upanishad it is mentioned. In uh, previous ages it is also mentioned the, uh, the last two lines is in the first and then first two lines are in the last like that. Hare Krishna, Hare Rama, first and then Hare Krishna. But either way you chant, it is the same. But we always follow. Mantra may be known. Gayatri Mantra, everybody knows. But what is the effect you'll get? Not much. But when somebody is giving Gayatri Mantra, the bona fide spiritual master is giving Gayatri, when you chant, different effect is there. Same way, Hare Krishna Mantra is there. You chant. But when you receive initiation and, and through bona fide spiritual master, the same mantra gives the actual more, much more transformation result, much more attachment to the holy name, your taste, that because it has to be actually given by the bona fide spiritual master in a bona fide sampradaya. Uh, so that's that's how it should be received. Evam parampara praptam, evam rajarshiya viju. So it should be received in a disciplic succession in a bona fide acharya, a bona fide sampradaya. Four bona fide Vaishnava sampradayas there. Through that, um, one must receive this. Uh, Mantra. So Kali Santava Red Open Shat, it is there. Other place also it is there. I don't remember exactly. In few other places it is mentioned. But it is there. You can, uh, this Golokar Premadan Haridam Sakirtan. This Hare Krishna Mahamantra has come from Golokrindavan. It is not um, created by some concocted for uh, just for Kali Yuga or something. No, it is there. It is there. It has been there always. So in Treta Yuga and other other Yugas also this. Um, uh, the two lines, the last line is there in the front and the front line is in the back. So, but the, it, it doesn't matter. But you follow, generally you follow because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has instructed for uh, for us in our Sampradaya. So that's why we follow the Acharya's instruction. Exactly, you follow. You don't uh, follow what is there in the Shastra. Because how do you know what is Shastra? What is Dharma of Shastra? What is the actual uh, essence of Shastra? You don't know the Shastra. Who has studied? Did we study? We didn't study. But if Acharya is already who has studied, who has, a, who has understood, who has seen Krishna, who has communicated with Krishna, if he is giving, then what he is giving, we have to take it. Then you go to a doctor, you go to a lawyer, you go to a um, uh, 
ordinary material education, PhD or whatever degree, you follow what is given. We don't try to say, no, no, I will do whatever I like. No, then you don't need that teacher. You do at home, you don't need to attend school or you don't need to go to doctor or lawyer. You do your own thing. Same way here. If you want transcendental knowledge, then you have to follow. Yes, you study book, but you have to be under the guidance. In the association of devotees, you study, you understand what is what. Then you question and then gradually you will be able to understand more. Otherwise, you read. Self-study is not so good. You need, we need to study, but you have to also hear. Then you can actually, things may make sense. Then you will understand more, you will go deeper. Otherwise, the same whatever knowledge we think we have or we know, but it is not the actual real knowledge. It is not actual the absolute truth. So that's why we have to make that clear distinction of self. Swadhyaya is not so uh, uh, so effective. Tasrunuvan su patan vicharana paro. Tasrunuvan, you have to hear. You chant and you hear, but you have to hear from association of you. Which are and where you will do examination when you are in the association of devotees, when you are hearing, then you have some, you know, some examination to do. You will be able to examine more. You will have much more broader spectrum. If one person thinking at home, studying, he has one spectrum of idea. But if you are hearing in the association, then there is a much wider spectrum of what it is. Then you have a better understanding. Then that will help to more and more. Study deeply. Is that clear? Yeah. Correct. Correct. What to do? That's it. That's why diseases come. That's why diseases come. Yes. That's it. Ah, yes. That's why Prabhupada always fresh. Even when somebody puts a garland from the freezer, he never liked it. Why did he have to have yesterday's garland? Why not today? Prabhupada always emphasized today, fresh. In the olden days, even if they are eating in a gold plate, throw. No picking up that plate and eating the same plate tomorrow. That's how it was. Now everything is completely opposite. Nothing natural. Nothing is. Yeah, processed food. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to do, but we have to see, you know. Ideally, you cook less, you eat same day, what you cook, hot rice and uh, sabji or whatever you eat, uh, make little bit, that only you eat. Ropa's process is simple. In morning, fruits, lunch, you used to main, take the meal, exactly it is cooked to one hour or two hours. You used to take the uh, massage and then as soon as it comes out, it is ready. Exact. When the body is hungry, then you need to take it. If you wait even one minute, you get disease. That's what Ropa said. And that is a reality. Ayurveda also describes that. And hot food, you know, one rice, one uh, roti, a dal, two sabjis, uh, little sandesh uh, sweet propose to take. And so, and then first you start with bitter, then there is a sequence with how body needs things, all other variations, preparation has to be there. And sweet is last, uh, so fruit has to be eaten before. So all these things are sequences there, there is Ayurveda. So, Prabhupada systematically, even though we don't know, but we learn everything from Prabhupada's, uh, uh, you know, life, lifestyle, from his books, from his conversations. We get everything. We don't, English also we get. I haven't, my English is so poor, but I study from Prabhupada's books, uh, my English has much more improved automatically. So, that's, you learn Ayurveda, everything. If you follow so Prabhupada's standards, how you, how you should take ghee. Uh, how you should uh, drink milk, everything. Nowadays, people are drinking cold milk and morning. Uh, no, it was described only in the night you should supposed to drink milk. And it has to be hot. It cannot be cold. And ghee has to be transparent gold. That's why you should take ghee. Then it won't be cholesterol. Uh, Snow white should be there. So everything Prabhupada is giving clearly because it is as per the Ayurveda, is as per the Shastra. He's not concocting something. So that's why. Uh, the results we can see is able so much energy is able to maintain at 70 plus years he could do no one else could do so that is the beauty of the process if you follow the exact instructions of previous acharya sadhu shastra guru then uh, results are uh, wonderful amazing so that's why krishna is describing in bhagavad gita in 17 chapter right? mode of goodness food should be eaten um yeah 
which are wholesome, fatty, juicy. That's what you have to take, and that also has to be in three hours. Yeah, proper is to by twelve or one it used to be done. Then two o'clock used to take lunch. So that's always my that is ideal. What do you get from temple, and you have more prasad at home, and you cook. You know, ideally you should cook less such a way. But then again, if both are working, then you don't have time. All right, what can you do? You manage within, but ideally it should be as at least morning you eat the same day. It's not that you keep on refrigerating things, and then you keep on eating the old stuff. We eat <laughs> microwave is never is good, <laughs> so that is all another thing. But devotees are used to what to do. Propa chastra is one time. Somebody mix uh, dal, dal and rice, kichdi. The chastra is the word. This is the disease. It is not good. It is a poison. And you reheat rice as well. Rice should never be reheated. Once I learned that, I never reheat. I am ready to eat cold, but I never reheat rice. You can reheat the dal or sabji. It's okay, better than. But the rice should not be. The grain should not be reheated. So, yeah, because that's that's why the disease. So much diseases. I was reading the other day some. Of, Ectrelic acid comes when uh, some of the foods are heated at certain temperatures. It produces ectrelic acid, which is produces cancer. Uh, so that's why these days and these diseases are coming so much because for them they don't care. They are selling. They want to sell it. They eat up so much and then they make the powder and so many things. We have no clue. Um, so what is the result? But they put sometimes warnings. But you can understand how these are. Because in naturally in olden days, this is not how things are done. Uh, but these days, everything is like that. They want money. They don't care about others. The not the result is uh, completely different. That's why. Yeah. I'll stop here. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Gandhara Srimad Bhagavad Gita Ki Jai. Shukupadi Ki Jai. Gaur Bhaktam Ki Jai.